Hi, Greg Stewart, agronomist with Mazex Seed. It's June 29th and we're out in a field of corn near Woodstock, Ontario. It's about closing in on waist high. If we look at a plant and you want to stage it, it's about V9. That is, there are nine collars at the bottom of the leaves that are fully formed. Uh, there's about uh, 11 leaves that have come out of the whirl enough to droop over. And if you're counting tips, there'd be about 14 tips in many of these plants. When you're counting leaves, the bottom four uh, by this stage in the crop growth are really hard to sort out. Some of them are starting to dry up. Some of them are getting split apart. They have a tough go at this point in time. The reason that is, is the bottom four nodes on a corn plant don't elongate, uh, don't move up. And so you have four leaves attached to that cluster of nodes at the bottom of the stem. So they really have no room to grow. And so this is the fifth node. So the fifth leaf is usually uh, still quite visible at this stage and obviously six, seven and beyond. So what's going on in this particular cornfield? Well, it's doing pretty well. It's probably established uh, uh, row number in terms of the number of rows might be on an ear and it's into the phase of trying to fix how many uh, potential kernels or ovules are going to be on the length of that ear. Most of Ontario is drier than we'd like to see. I still think this corn crop is in good shape. I think it's done a nice job of setting potential in the ears that are there, but we are going to need some rain soon in order for pollination to be successful and to not have pullback on the number of kernels that actually get successfully pollinated. Keeping a watch on the crops. See you next time at Mazex Moving. Thanks.